Tennessee. Morristown, Tennessee. Uh, this is the lead card at Rotary Disc Golf Course. No. Now we're moving on to hole number one. It's 435. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you, we play this hole all the time. And to get it right there it would just be awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. I would say this is one of the longer par threes on the course. But for these guys, it's not really a yeah. problem. Now, Logan, was, he was going down that way, but... He had a little bit of skip, and he did stay in bounds. I'm, oh. I, I think that creek right there. Oh, Dutch, you're crazy, man. <laughs> Logan looking for a two. No, oh, it's birdie. Good birdie. <laughs> 240 foot hole number two is a par three. Uh, most of these guys are it's it's dog leg left, so most of these guys are gonna be doing just a soft putter shot or maybe a mid range. Ooh, Logan got caught up on the left side there. You, here's Logan, as you can see, he's got quite a bit of work to do here. You definitely don't want to end up on this left side. There you go. Like I said, a huge charge for the lead during the front nine of round four. He started off the front nine, uh, birdie, birdie, eagle. Mm -hmm. So he was definitely full of the round four coverage. Uh, it's 307. Mm, on an elevated pad. There's, uh, there's a few branches that stick out right there, you can see. You want to throw kind of lower, but just right below that one big branch sticking out there. If anybody can throw a low flick, guess who it is. <laughs> yep, exactly. He throws the lowest flicks mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Logan from the side of the hill there. Hopefully he can make an eagle putt here. Oh, oh that's hit tough the thing. top of the cage tough and thing. bounced off the chain. Chris on this one. Uh, they were starting on hole number one. So uh, hole number on here. If you try and bite off too much, then you're probably going to hit a tree. Mm. Mm. That's the danger of this, this. He's already knocked off 300 feet on this uh, par four. That's, here, that's so. crazy. This is a pretty pretty far forehand to, to be thrown. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Logan hits a tree and gets caught. There has been a lot of par fours uh, during this tournament as you guys have watched our coverage that uh, a lot of par fours that we didn't necessarily agree with and I know a lot of the pros don't but this one in my opinion uh, I don't know about Griffith but it definitely plays as a par four at the very least a s not so much soft par four yeah if you make it out and then you have a great shot wow that's a great <laughs> shot <laughs> like that right there yeah I mean if that that's his so did it in the bag video of him uh, I'll put links up in the corner to those, so make sure you check that as a piece, which is really Pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. Moving on to hole number five. Mm. He's got a lot of work to do. That shows the arm that Snappy has. Goodness. <laughs> Logan looking for uh, a flick as well. I always think he's lining up a backhand left hand when I see him going to the flick. Is that what Some, you <laughs> Sometimes he holds it in his left hand, so it kind of throws me off. A little mm. early. Yeah, a little bit early. Uh, he probably not going to have a putt from there. You can see Logan here on the right side. He's uh, he's got a lot to deal with over there. It, at least going to get a par. So uh, par is definitely a good score on this. Mm. Mm. Well, he's definitely. It definitely changes the distance of that quite a bit. Although they would like a birdie here, I would say they're completely content with walking away. Only two strokes behind uh, Chris Dickerson. He, birdied, he left his a little shorter than he wanted. Logan's going to go with the flick. It's looking good. Oh. Like a... I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the net there I was talking about. OB doesn't really come into play, so. 
Logan with a nice soft putter shot. Uh, coming into this, uh, I, did, I failed to mention earlier, this is actually for trying to stay up uh, in the top four. Moving on to hole number seven. Just like said, that. yeah, he would, he would definitely be up there near the basket. He's going a little far. No. Okay. Yeah, he might have ended up in that thick stuff right over there, which they had multiple times. Mm -hmm. As you can see, most of these guys, uh, they're, oh, good run from Logan there. I thought that was going in. There's no kind of live scoring for this, but uh, he's right there with him, so he's probably counting up at the top. So great charge from Colin there. Moving on, straight going on the right side. Uh, through those woods right there it's obviously grown up now so it's not there anymore but I've heard stories of uh, I think they said Will Schuster actually to this hole by going through that the thick woods over there that happens to more people than it should <laughs> yeah just yeah. quick oh great shot from Logan there yeah you missed you missed that initial gap you're getting uh, Colin and Chris are still tied at the top. Moving on to hole number. Chris was probably playing for the skip, but maybe not quite as early. He didn't, I don't think he wanted to hit that early. Okay. If you can get to the edge there, you can definitely get a skip towards the basket. Which I didn't talk to him about it. I know you did. Ooh, ooh. Logan with a forehand roll. It's, ooh, now that ooh. roll there is not OB. So okay. he he rolled he rolled tied up again going into the next so Shout out to Corey Murphy, excellent photo bomber there. <laughs> oh, Corey walked around with us and filmed the catch cam there this tournament and we can't thank him enough for all of his excellent work mm -hmm. low. this seems like an easy drive easy hole it, it is a good birdie yeah definitely it's a good kit It's a lot harder to get uh, to the left side where that <laughs> BDG sees Griffith right there walking around with the pro. Didn't realize I did. Dutch, or I'm sorry, Snappy a little bit on the right side. He's got a long putt, but hopefully he can make that one. Logan also going over the OB. Wide out. <laughs> Very wide. Oh, hit again, the same ditch. <laughs> needed that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he can get back on track. Like I said, this is, uh, this is the round where they've got to make their way up to the top so they can get into the final nine. Fifth place and down is secure after this round, so. Oh. Oh. Definitely not what uh, Logan's wanting coming into this. Is uh, one struck behind him at 33 down for the lead. Shooting a hot round. Yes. Colin had a great drive as well. I know he plays a lot of forehand, but don't sleep on his backhand because that was a great shot right there. Getting up here where these guys are takes a lot of power. Logan turned his over a little bit, but he's still, still. pretty far up running for Corey there, it looks like. <laughs> this is definitely, these guys are making it look so much easier than it is. Yeah, these guys are making it look like a par three. It's it's not. not tough line back there. It's mm -hmm. Logan focused in on the basket. No problem for him. And hard holes to me. That's just not fun going yeah. up that hill. <laughs> Move the uh, left side of the fairway down there and drop down on the edge of the trees. Logan as well going with the backhand. That's early. Oh, that's very early. Uh, he's going to be in there. He didn't get he's on that outside. You still have a jump putt. Now here's Logan going into the woods. You can see how thick it is in there. It's uh, You definitely don't want to be in this side of the woods. If you're looking to get a... If you're wanting a birdie, yeah, if you're wanting a birdie here, you, you have to make it around the corner there. Logan tosses it out. <laughs> oh, God. For an eagle two. What the <laughs> crap? I'm tossing out there. <laughs> He's tossing it in the basket. Yeah, I have no idea. Like I said in the video before, Logan is so scrappy. If he gets caught up in anything, he finds his way. They try and make it into the final nine. So 
Uh, they got to make something get in there, and that's crazy for a forehand roller. Absolutely, that's a lot harder than it looks. It looks like Logan, uh, end of a sponsor, Logan Bowers is going to be trying to do the same kind of thing. Cut in oh, a little bit early. It, yeah, he hit that tree. Oh, oh, but he did still get a little bit of rolls. So, uh, if you can make see somebody putting on their second shot on this hole, uh, I know they've done something great. This is not a hole that uh, a lot of people are walking away with a two on. So this is definitely a bonus birdie if anybody gets this one. Of course, for the pros to finish uh, finish out on the tournament, we'll start of, uh, at least at the start of this back nine. We've got a lot of the two. The uh, uh, There's a few little different lines there. Uh, Logan looks like he's going with the backhand as well. I saw him say that disc down there. I gotta wonder if that was the difference between a forehand and a backhand, those two discs. Mm -hmm. You kinda need an ante to flex back for you on this one. And it's just tough. Mm -hmm. Nice. Logan does exactly what you wanna do there. That's just, great. Yeah, that, he's actually gonna card the birdie as well. Great putt. That's a good uh, good birdie from Logan and Chris there. Either way, they shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so it looks like Colin actually did go out of bounds there. He got a bogey for as well. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. This is uh, 305 feet, as you can see. There's almost no fairway. There's a uh, over the top, as you can see, Logan going with here. Gets caught up, and he it's sits still... on the other edge there. Uh, there just needs to be some, some things cut out if these guys aren't making it through. I'm surprised the local hasn't gone in there and just... <laughs> I'm not trying to give anybody any ideas, but... <laughs> you can tell they're ready to get this one over with and move a three-stroke lead. Um, not that many uh, holes to play left besides the final nine round. Uh, end of a sponsored Logan Bowers on the tee here. This is 330 feet, plays slightly uphill. I would say he plays a little bit closer to, closer to four, I would say. Mm. No shame in a par on this hoe. Yeah. Logan looking for that, uh, that kind of step putt that he does with Anheuser. Oh, mm. good be at this tournament every year. So, they've been playing these courses for the past, I think, three years that we've had Tennessee State here in Morristown. So they're pretty used to. It. I don't know how Ooh. used to. It. Oh. That's mm. tough. I don't really Hopefully know what happened on that putt. Oh, oh spit through. I swear, there's something about that basket. <laughs> we filmed around here. It was our first bag tag match, BDGC bag tag match number lead as we move into hole number 17. It's a 310 feet dog leg look around and get it as far as they can. Not a bad roller from Colin, but he did get caught up. Once again, Logan going with a forehand roller. It's a good roller. He's uh, on the left side. Logan in the left side woods. He didn't go too deep, and it looks like he's got a putt. Oh, oh hit the chains. So many spit out. outs. <laughs> this right. Moving on to hole 18 is the 540. He's got a big arm. Maybe some of you watching have a big arm, but that's just crazy to think of. Yeah. Logan looking for a little bit of flex on his. Another great Man. shot. These guys are making this look so much easier than it. Logan looking for an eagle too. Yeah, that's a good putt right there. Oh, I'm just so
so dynamic On another latitude, they can't stand it Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off And I was never planning on landing Been working on my legacy, yeah Since I've been a prodigy It's probably the dog in me I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me No apologies, I'm so astonishing I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one We talking trophies, dog, give me them Championships, I'ma give me some And I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come